Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and I've got a video for you. So you know I like Arlo, um, but sometimes you put the Arlo cameras in places uh, that can be a little difficult to reach, you know. I uh, put this Arlo camera up here just so I can get a nice view of this backyard. Um, you know, when motion's detected, depending on the time of the day, all right, as you can see, it's pretty up there. Now, do I want to go up there every three months and change a battery? Probably not. So guess what? I've got a review on the solar panel made by Weiserstein. And you're going to need more than just this if you want to get this up on your gutter. Okay, so stay tuned, and I'll be back. I'll go over the unboxing, the installation, and I will also share some thoughts on how well it charges as well. So, be right back. All right, guys, so unboxing outside. Why not do an outdoor um, unboxing? So, first off, just notice that this, this here is made specifically for the Arlo Pro and the Pro 2 and the Go, okay? And that means that the plug on the back of this panel basically plugs into those two cameras. It won't work with a Pro 3 and it won't work with an Ultra. But what I'll do is, in the description, I will put some links to those products, okay? To, to make it easier for you. And we are an Amazon affiliate, so you'll be supporting the channel. That'd be great. Um, so let's open this up um, and uh, take a peek at it and see what we got. All right, so we have our user guide. We have our panel. Now you can get this in black or white. Um, I didn't really care for it. I cared more about the cost. So uh, there's your plug. There's your panel. Okay. Um, here's your mount. And if you're mounting on a gutter, um, I will show you the adapter that I had to buy in order to uh, put this on a gutter. Okay, and then I'll also go through the installation. They also give you some screws and some mounting hardware. I'm not going to need that because I'm going to be using the uh, gutter mount to place this next to the camera so we can charge the camera and I won't need to climb up like you saw before. <laughs> All right, so more to come. Be right back. All right, guys, so this is the mount that you're going to need in order to place that solar panel on the gutter like I'm going to do. And by the way, I did also install the Arlo Pro 2 on the gutter using a gutter mount. So I will put a link in the upper right hand corner. But um, basically you have, you know, this is a, a pretty simple um, mount that, that connects to your, your gutter. Uh, you've got your screws that you'll need, okay, and then this basically will connect to the back of the solar panel, all right? So as I go through it, I'll show you some shots. I'll be using a chest mount to be safe on the ladder. I'll go nice and slow, and we'll go from there, all right? Be right back. All right, guys, so the only tool you're going to need is a, um, a Phillips head screwdriver, okay? Just get yourself one of these. Um, now, the only reason why you'll need it, to be honest with you, is if you have to take the plate here. You see this plate on the bottom? All right. So if you have to take this plate and put it on top like I'm going to, um, then you need to take these four screws off. All right. So you take the four screws off. You take the plate. You put it on top. I'll show you that afterwards. Um, you screw it from the bottom. And you can basically either mount whatever you're mounting on the bottom or you can mount it on the top, depending on what's more convenient. In this case, with the camera for the Arlo Pro 2, and now for the solar panel, I'm, I'm going to have to move this on top, and you'll see why in a little while, okay? Um, other than that, you've got screws you can turn with your own hands, so that's all you're going to need, okay? And we got this girl here all in my business. <laughs> I'll be back. By the way, the uh, solar panel was about $45, okay? Uh, just so you'll know. And the mount that I had to buy in order to put it on the gutter uh, was about $14 to $15, all right, just for this mount. Um, as you can see here, I now have the uh, part uh, lifted from the bottom to the top um, because it's going to sit like that on my gutter, and then I'm able to place this up 
so it's getting as much sun as possible when the solar panel's on. All right, so that's already screwed nice and tight. And now we'll go up and we'll try to install this and then we'll do some testing and see how it goes. Okay, so I put this on like I showed you a moment ago and uh, I did put the screw in. So this tightens up. You can do it by hand. So you can adjust this up or down depending on where um, you want your solar panel angled or whatever you're installing. Okay, I also have my two screws in now and make it easier for me as I'm going to be on top of a ladder. All I need to do now is grab the solar panel. Now, I want you to show you that, that they did give me a piece to put. It slides right in and locks. You see this guy here? Basically, um, they give it to you in the packaging, and all you need to do is take this, all right, put it down here, and it's going to lock. And obviously that is so that you can screw this on here. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to do this now because I don't want to do it on a ladder. So let me go ahead and tighten this up, and then we'll go up and we'll do our installation. All right, be right back. Okay, so I am going to remove the camera now um, by unscrewing it. Okay, because you need to get to the back of the camera, by the way, in order to plug it in. So you see this plug? You have to open that plug up there. You have to take this cable and plug it in. Now, it only goes in one way, so just be careful. All right, so you put this in the right way. And it looks like when it does go in, and you gotta be careful doing it, it looks like when, you, when it does go in, it should actually create a decent seal also. I think they did a good job with that because again, you don't want water going in, but uh, it does look like if I could bring it into the light here, does look like it actually sealed up real nice okay now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this on all right and um, it is kind of interesting because you have to turn this a little bit and you also don't want your screw to get in the way so let's see hopefully this is you know they put some thought into this I'm going to now take my solar panel, and I'll clean the wire up in a moment, okay? I'll probably put some uh, cord or something there, but I'm going to take this now, put it on here, open my screws up a little bit more, all right? And uh, again, it, 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 when you put it on, it's not coming off, but it'll wobble a little bit, okay? And other than some wire cleanup, guys, I don't have to come up here and, uh, you know, mess around with changing the battery out now, okay? So I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to angle it um, pretty good. There it goes. Okay, let me just make sure. Ah, okay, interesting. Okay, so, wow, all right. That kind of came out for a second, so let me lock it back in. Okay. Wow. So be careful. If you angle it too much, it actually will pop out. Wow. You know, what's, you know what? I'll tell you something. And I like showing this stuff, guys. So I am going to make this a little bit more permanent. All right? Because this thing kind of does come out easy. I'm sorry to say. So, again, very inexpensive. Um, you know, solar panels are going for about 100 But uh, I'm going to come back. Um, I'll do this off camera, but I'm going to make this more permanent. I'm going to go ahead and put some Gorilla Glue and make this stay. Okay, guys, so I do want you to see that this is now charging, okay? And that's important that you see that. So the solar panel is charging the battery. It's at 37% now. I caught it just in time. All right, but um, yep, it is charging, which is good news. Now, the other thing, all right, I want to do is I grabbed some... Uh, Gorilla Glue, clear Gorilla Glue, and I also grabbed some wire. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the wire up there. Um, okay, so let's go up there real quick and again, nice and easy. Um, Brooklyn's hanging out here. All right, and then we'll be done 
And I'll ask you to give us a thumbs up. Um, I hope this is helpful in some way. You've learned something. It helped you in some way. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Share our video. Okay. Um, as I climb up the ladder and it's nice and easy. All right, guys. So I decided to take it down um, because I put the glue on all around. And I'm going to have that dry flat so that it doesn't drip, drip, drip. Okay. The other reason I took it down is I noticed that this camera has been up for about about a month maybe and I noticed the screws are starting to rust so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray a clear coat uh, on here and I'm gonna spray a clear coat on those screws there okay just to be on the safe side I'll of course remove the panel and I'll of course remove the bat the, the camera but I want to sp just spray a clear coat so it kinda helps me long term um, okay, so I don't have any rusting and then screws breaking. Again, you try to make things last as long as you possibly can. All right, I'll be right back, and then I'll install it, and it'll be done. So, guys, I am just using a Krylon uh, clear, all right, just the coating on it. So, again, it will actually make these screws not rust for at least a little longer. All right, so just sharing that with you, little tip there. Okay guys, so I did use some clear weatherproof silicone around where this plug goes. I don't have faith in this plug. And this is going to be in an area that's going to be exposed to weather and uh, rain. So, yep, I did it all the way around just a little bit. Okay, and what's nice is this is a silicone, so it's removable. You don't have to worry. You can peel it right off when you, when you want to. And I use the GE Clear silicone i'll put the link in the description if uh, this is something you're interested in but yep that's what i'm doing okay guys here is the final product check it out so the solar panel is tilted up so it can catch as much sun as possible obviously you have to tighten this screw back here okay when you're putting it on and as you can see i've got it you know with the screws behind okay this is the best way for me to put it in Okay, so that, those are all the way in. And this will move, okay? So it will move, but it won't come off because the screws are all the way in against the gutter. Same thing with the camera, right? So the camera has the plug plugged in now in the back there, okay? Um, I did put some, some clear coat on the screws so they won't rust. I did tuck the wire over here. I didn't want it in the gutter, okay? So I did tuck the wire. Um, and uh, yeah, so check that out. All right, guys, there is the final product. I did move the camera underneath the gutter. Um, I think it'll be, uh, you know, it won't get as much weather um, compared to being on top of the gutter. And the solar panel is facing the sun and it's getting a couple of good hours. So yeah, all good. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.